Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Corinne. If you're not new, thanks for stopping by again. I thought I would just do a little weekend in my life, kind of like long weekend vlog. It is Thursday, so I feel like it's Thursday night, like literally after work. Um, it's not night, but you know what I mean. It's 4.49. So um, I just felt like it'd be a fun time to start a vlog. I want to show you guys, I just got back from Disney with my girls um technically orlando but we went to disney springs for their nationals competition and i got some things from zara and i ordered lululemon stuff while i was gone and i just kind of wanted to show you guys um the few things that came in just like a mini little haul at the beginning of the vlog so let's just get started with some of the things my camera keeps going upside down not for you guys for me so it's a little frustrating but whatever so let's just start with lululemon first um i got this little bathing suit i love lululemon bathing suits i own like a hot pink one and a black one that might be it but i love their bathing suits they do they are pretty expensive but this one was on sale um i definitely got it because my friend hannah so if you're watching this hannah it was all you um this is like so cute first off look at the color um, the top has not come in. I will show you guys when it does, but I will also obviously link this bathing suit bottom. Um, it is the Waterside Mid-Rise Skimpy Bikini Bottom. I got a size small, and then I got a size 6 in the top, hoping that it works. So I just love the color. It was on Markdown, so instead of being like $120 for both pieces together, it was like 50 bucks for both pieces together because I also used my Sweat Collective on top of that, so yeah got the um why can not sonic pink that's what it's called sonic pink um pace rival skirt I, I got the um pink one i get a size four but i get the long the long is not long you guys it's just a normal length um so i get a four long pace rival in sonic pink um i have this in warm coral dark red black and then i have the two hottie hot ones I don't know if I have others, but I love, oh, I have like um, a play off the pleats, but love a good Lululemon skirt. You guys know Sonic Pink is always sold out, and I think it would be so cute. It would be a little extra, but I have the Sonic Pink Power Pivot, which I feel like would be like a little cute set with this, so yeah. I'm going to move quick because my, my camera's day. So I got this super cute. It's like the Cocoon Cinch Vest. I'll link it from Abercrombie on clearance. It has like pleather. Um, little details, but it's white and I just feel like layering in the winter. I'm gonna wear it tonight to Nada So I'll show you guys how I style it um, Zara, I got the cutest little like periwinkle crop tank. Um, I love it I also got a crop little ruffle shirt that's on its way. They have Zara and Disney Springs So then I got these little like cinch baggy like paper bag pants I got the green I but I wore them to work yesterday and I love them so much that I like got on and ordered them in pink So I'm so excited. They're like the perfect like um, business casual work pant um so very excited about that then you guys i got two of the cutest dresses i want to show you guys look how cute this floral one is ignore the polka dot thing like the these florals are beautiful and it's like the cutest dress and then this one i thought was some orange heels i got these for some friends um wedding showers i thought this one would be cute for like a for um rehearsal dinner for one of my friends her wedding's july 9th and then i thought this one would be cute for like a shower so shopo is by far one of my favorite dress sites i got my gra college graduation dress from there um i got some like leather pants from there i got a dress that i wore for to a fall wedding last year from there and those two dresses they always fit me lengthwise and everything i get a size um four which is or no two I get the small, whatever the small is. I don't get the extra small or the medium, I get the small. And like, it literally fits me perfect every time. So um, I would highly recommend Shopo. Like literally, I just have been finding recently, I've been ordering from like Lulu's and Red Dress, which are some of my favorite places, even Hello Molly. And like the smalls fit me, but the length, wide, length is horrendous. It's so short. So places like Lulu's and Hello Molly, I can do midi dresses and I'm good to go with a small, but... Yeah, I have a few Hello Molly dresses in my cart right now, but they're all midi dresses for um, another summer wedding. That's the weekend before the one that I'm in. Okay, this is the other item I wanted to talk about. You guys, I ordered it in green as well. 
I thought this would be so cute for Easter or literally anything that you're doing. Um, I'm obsessed with it. So it's like has a little slit and it's just a sweater dress. You guys, it's like the most comfortable, thick sweater ever. This is um, the light blue. I ordered in light pink. Light pink is almost too white and I'm thinking about wearing one of them for um, a bridal thing and I don't want to look like I'm wearing white. So um, I got like a sagey green one which I think I'm going to wear it next weekend I think it is to one of my friends little like bridles brunch. I think it'd be cute with like golden goose sneakers, sandals, whatever. And then I think this blue one as long as it's like the perfect temperature would be so cute for Easter. I just love it. Um, I want to get it in this chocolate brown color for the fall, but for now we just got some like fun spring colors. Obviously, I am not like all done up, but it is cute. So I would highly recommend this little dress from Amazon. I'll link it. Just from the top, it's just like such good quality i love it so this is the blue one then i got the gray like it's like a no it's like a sage green color and then i want to get the chocolate brown whenever it comes back in stock the girl that i saw it from tiktok and the girl um had it on in white with a white jean jacket which was adorable but then you don't have to wear green on saint pat when it's not saint patrick's day huh you don't have to wear green when it's not saint patrick's day i mean I'm just saying you wanted to wear green because it's this week, but it's not today. I know, but I have a lot of green, so I thought it would be a good time to wear it. Okay. I mean, this is light green. I got this from Princess Polly for free when I collabed with him, and I literally have not worn it yet, so. Well, now you do. All right, let's go. I look horrible. Now you don't. Look at my hair. I wanted to curl it, but. You look pretty. I have on this Princess Polly little, I don't even know what kind of sweater this is. They have it in a million colors. Um, and then I have on my, I think they're called washed gray, 90 straight leg jeans with my leather converse. And this boy is dressed for summer. I'm excited. <laughs> He's excited. It's good weather. He has on Lululemon commission shorts, a Lululemon Five year basic that was before the fundamentals and small birds. <laughs> I know. It's, it's like it's 70, but we're about to eat outside, and so it's gonna be cooler. And I'm not about to freeze. This sweater is also really thin, it's not anything like crazy. What did, what's the price for ours? Uh, three if it's within the hour. And I have my bag. If it's two. Yeah. We're getting dinner as a celebration. For some news that you probably already know by the thumbnail or the title. But celebration dinner and drinks on a Wednesday. Gotta have it. But it's really nice out. Right? Very nice. We're at a little outside table. Here's the menu. I think we're gonna do, what? The, where is it? It's the cauliflower steak. Yeah. Cauliflower steak, maybe the veggie burger. And there were crispy Brussels somewhere. Looks like they're on the sides. They were an app somewhere, but they have Brussels. Yeah, they don't have mm, crispy Brussels and a dirty Shirley. Very citrusy. <laughs> Oh, we have a cauliflower steak and the veggie burger. Yum. So I'm just chilling this morning. Um, we are now back in the office. I don't think I've ever mentioned that because um, I haven't vlogged since I got back from Orlando. 
because I couldn't find my camera. So um, we're back in the office two days a week, and you can choose your two days. So I did Tuesday, Wednesday, and today's Thursday. So I'm finally home and just working from home, and it feels so good to be home. So I never told you guys, like, Trevor and I, oh, I'm drinking my coffee. I just put, like, it's just a little latte but we were almost out of oat milk so I did some almond and then um some cinnamon because I really like that together and I just have a little bamboo straw and then a double walled glass these are always linked um they're from Am or from Macy's that's what it is um but you can get double walled like at TJ Maxx all that stuff like home goods that's where I usually get mine um so we didn't mention what our exciting news was sorry that I look like this my hair is kind of gross St. Patrick's Day right now um but we didn't mention what our exciting news was yesterday when we were at dinner. We forgot, but you guys know we were house hunting and I know everybody wanted like a lot of house hunting clips and stuff, but um, it was kind of hard. Like half of the houses, you guys, we went to probably close to 25 or 30 houses and we put offers in on two of those houses. Um, so literally every house we went in, we were just kind of like like disappointed and there was like I would bring my camera and then we'd walk in like cause the pictures look so good and we'd walk in and be like yikes like I'm not gonna film this um and then the other ones that were kind of cute were like ones that people lived in and I didn't really want to film those so yeah I'm really sorry about that um but we saw a house on it was just a random Tuesday and Trevor sent me a house and was like hey we should go check this one out and I agreed I looked at the pictures and I was like yeah it's a good area it's whatever like let's go check it out so anyway <clears throat> he sent me a house on Tuesday it literally had just gotten posted that morning you guys we literally live on Zillow and we have like a little portal um or that our realtor made us and we live on it and so on the portal um, this little house showed up and we were like, let's go check it out, whatever. Um, we were able to get in that night and then we looked at it and like, we kind of wanted a three bedroom, three bath. This has two bedroom, two bath, but it has like a dining room. It has three floors. I mean, the basement's not finished, but like our laundry would be down there. It just has more space. It has a great backyard, parking. It has a back porch and a front porch for like, you know, coffee and a good front porch and stairs for like classic me who wants to decorate my front porch with like mums and pumpkins in the fall and all things. So we really liked it. Everything like kind of checked out with like if you guys have been house hunting or something like if you're looking at older houses sometimes the foundations can be rough so like we checked out the basement um it was a flipped house but it was actually like it seems to be flipped fairly well um the kitchen is like all brand new appliances that we do need to buy a fridge but there's an oven a dishwasher and a microwave in the kitchen and it's like a white it's white and i love white um i've always wanted to live in a white house so Literally, I said if we couldn't find a white house, we would be painting whatever house we got. And that was, like, always in agreement with Trevor. Like, I've always wanted a white house. And I know it's not our forever home, but I still want a white house because we're going to be here for probably a while. So, to make the long story short, it's already been long. Um, we put in an offer that night, and then they were taking offers through the next day at 5 p.m. And then we got a text at, like, 5.30 that they accepted our offer, which is, like so exciting you guys know we've been looking since like january 3rd which isn't super long but um we're ready to like get things going because i have like tryouts starting up in may and i just really wanted to like kind of have my space we already have a couch we already have coffee table side table rug i'm about to order a dining room table luckily we ordered that couch like I don't know couches can take forever and we ordered it back in December and it just came in so we have all of that and it's just a great space um so what I'm trying to say is it's a long clip but subscribe down below you guys I'm going to be doing an empty house tour a ton of home decor shopping videos with Trevor my mom we're gonna go to Crate and Barrel this weekend probably some home goods um literally like tours 
just like I'll probably show you guys like little things that get added around the house and then a big tour when it's like finally put together we will be painting this house white it's brown right now but it would literally be so beautiful white um hopefully we'll be doing that in the summer you guys so exciting um again if you guys like have gone through buying a house or you know about it like we do have to go through an a inspection which is like a big deal and can be nerve-wracking so obviously like this house may not even work out but we're crossing our fingers and we're like putting all the good vibes forward that like it's gonna work out and we're gonna be great but it's just great because it has like a backyard and parking and porches and we have a dining room a living room a kitchen a bathroom downstairs which was one of my biggest things because I hate when like you have your own bathroom but then like you only have one bathroom and then like all your friends have to use your bathroom when they come over like I'm not I love my friends and they're clean people but I'm just like it'll be nice that everybody has a bit like there was a bathroom downstairs a little bar that's not gonna fit much it's like a skinny piece of granite so we'll have like my coffee bar on that um so I don't know just a lot of things and I'm very excited it's gonna be a lot to do you guys know I'm gonna have to move out of this bedroom take the TV with me our my bed will be our bed so this has been my little outfit all day um, I just have my all yours green tea on you know it's st. Patrick's Day so even though I'm around the house I feel like I need this and then just like my relaxed cute little joggers from Lululemon and all Lululemon fit I didn't I was like you guys so rushed to go to cycle bar but I wore this cute little ribbed mesh high neck green sports bra from Lululemon and then some matching green and still so it's like a little matching green set um we're about to go probably grab dinner and then um we're meeting some of trevor's family out to celebrate his um cousin's 21st birthday so i'll probably throw on another little green item um i'll show you guys what I end up wearing but I've literally been when I'm not like ever since my work day has been over I have been doing research and like finding a bunch of things on line so um I found the dining room table and chairs the chairs are sold out and the table I have to order I'm ordering a bench for the table as well um there's a lot to like obviously order and get and stuff but okay my hair is greasy so of course it doesn't make you feel the best I really should have washed it but I'm gonna wash it after my workout tomorrow so I'm just wearing this ribbed sweater it's only 70 degrees out so it's like pretty darn warm but I know I'll be cold so ribbed sweater is princess Polly jeans literally I wore them last night um I'm, I have another pair to pick up from Abercrombie and my order's ready but I haven't gone so these are the ones with the slits the other ones that I'm picking up are darker and they're just like the regular 90s these are the 90s straight leg ultra high rise with the slit and then white leather platform converse I also have this princess poly sweater that I may throw on if I think it looks better but here we go Whew, you guys I shot out a cycle bar that was a hot hot ride oh my gosh also this does not work there there we go i'm in my dad's car um because mine was doing some weird things and it makes me nervous to drive right now so going to get gas really quick um and then just a little bit just enough because i'm not really driving a bunch of actually i kind of am driving a bunch of places and then i'm gonna grab duncan and while their drive through is still open because our drive through closes at like 10 or 11 or noon i don't remember Put my shirt on um i need to fix my hair but trevor and i drove by our house yesterday because when we went and saw it it was 6 p.m 6 15 but like the time has changed so 6 15 was actually pretty light out so we wanted to see it in the dark so we went yesterday and just to see like the street and stuff um it looks great and we're really excited okay what did i end with yeah let's see where my let's see if it's filled oh that got me a full tank 
Okay. How much? What? Okay, you guys know how expensive gas is right now. So my car, always, like I drive um, a Lexus ES300, but like a 2003, it's old. Um, so my car is always $50 to fill up. No matter how cheap the gas is, it's always $50. And so it was just $50 to fill up my dad's. So what is his naturally, originally, 30? Dear Lord. I think I've ever seen Duncan's line this long. It's not even that long, but like I've seen many Duncans this long, but not this Duncan because it's like attached to a Popeyes and a gas station. So I was gonna get the salted caramel because I really like that, but they were sold out, which is completely fine. I don't really care. Um, I was just getting it because it's like seasonal. And of course, I have like a few cents less than I need to pay for my coffee. So, oh, maybe my dad has. <laughs> jackpot my dad has so many quarters what the heck okay well i'm just gonna pay with it and then finish paying with quarters i think she said it was 4.99 and i have 4.57 so can we do that math because i can't 90 or 99 minus 67 i need 42 cents so let's do 25 you guys look at this Look at this. That is a lot of change. But I'm not complaining. 199. You got the latte with three caramel and espresso? Yes. Yeah. And then 42 cents. Okay. Awesome. Here you go. That. Thank you. And this has oat milk in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Just a normal iced caramel latte with oat milk. Hmm. <laughs> that is good, you guys. That is so good. Hey guys, another little car vlog. I didn't know that I would be vlogging, you know, before tonight, but quickly going to grab Chipotle um, with my mom. And I showered before my, I just had three meetings. Before my first meeting, I got my shower, my hair washed, so I feel really good. I showed you guys what I was wearing. This is just a crop long sleeve from, um, Super Bowl, some relaxed joggers from Lululemon, and then Hoka's. Um, I'm crazy, and I have my like Bengals tumbler with ice and Zevia in it because I'm a big Zevia fan, and I have to have it with Chipotle. So we're taking it. I'll probably sit outside anyway. So it'll be um, morning. It is like 9:30. No, it's probably later because I woke up at 9:30. Um. And we are gonna do some decor and like d home shopping. So I have to do a return at Old Navy. I have to pick up something at Abercrombie, but then we're gonna do like some home goods runs, crate and barrel, things like that. And then I'm dog sitting and we're going to dinner tonight. So that's what today is looking like. I'm obviously still in my pajamas. Just brushed my teeth though and washed my face. So we're going to put on like a little bit of makeup, like some under eye concealer, maybe some leggings and something because it's gross and rainy out. And then we're gonna head out. So, and we're gonna get coffee. Um, I think we're gonna get coffee after Old Navy because I'm the only one that's gonna run in there. I'm literally just gonna run in and do my exchanges. Um, and coffee is further because I think we're gonna go to Big B. So, yeah, and Bentley has joined me this morning in my bed, haven't you, bud? Oh, good boy. <laughs> you look so scary. There you go. Now you look good. Look at his gray ears. He's getting so old. You have gray ears. Okay. Oh, why does this always happen? It always gets so dark. But my outfit is very boring. But I'm going to show it anyway. So I have my blue jacket on from Forever 21. 
um, little speckled all yours tea from Lululemon. It just has like colorful speckles. And then shiny aligns from Lululemon and then Goldens. So it's a very comfortable outfit. It's like a rainy day and it's not super cold, but it's like kind of cold out. So we're just gonna stick with this outfit um, to run errands and everything. I just don't know. The lighting is always rough, but here's what it is. So it's not my not my best work, but it'll do. Um, and then I have a bunch of stuff packed. So this is packed because I'm going to my cousin's. It has clothes in it. And then my Louis Vuitton. Um, never full. So this is like freaking so heavy. There's so much stuff in it. So um, makeup bag, toothpaste, dry shampoo, whatever. All the things in here, so. Window down so it's not smudgy? That's okay, it's not smudgy. Um, so I probably ate some of her baked goods, cookies, you know. She made donuts, Danish, I mean, not she all the her time. She wasn't a big cupcake person. She made cakes. I got it. She Thanks. just always had recipes that she would make desserts probably like three, four night days a week. So we always had dessert after a meal. <laughs> right. And she was a good baker. She was a good cook too. So what is our order? Did you all eat a lot of Two? homemade meals? Two 24 ounce? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's all we had. Ready? We didn't do takeout. What are we doing? Oh, nothing. Turned out of it though. Two 24 ounce. I'm just wondering what we're ordering when we get up here. You better get that bragel. Two 24 ounce iced vanilla lattes with extra ice and oat milk. Uh, I guess I'll get a small teddy bear. A teddy, what'd you call teddy it? Bar. Teddy bar. <laughs> teddy bar. She wants a teddy bar with Maybe it may be lunchtime by the time we get up here and then I won't want anything. <laughs> a small teddy bear, a coffee cake, muffin warmed up, and a vegan sausage bragel. The coffee cake muffins are not vegan, are they? Probably not. Like coffee emporium. I love those. I think about them. <laughs> I think, I think about them. <laughs> My hands are so dry. Sometimes I'll stop in the one downtown and get one and eat half for lunch or at breakfast and then eat the other half the next day. Okay, how are you doing today? <laughs> Good, how are you? Thank you. Doing, oh, doing all right. You're always like, do you do that at every drive through Just what? not put your, not put your you. um, window down and just... I don't want to pay for it. Have them scream at you. <laughs> all right, you like to tip today? Oh, sure. 10%. We appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, sure. $2.60. Um, vegan bagel. Yeah, funny how that works, isn't it? Anything else for you today? Uh, no, is there anything? Okay. All right. Good. All Thank right. you, sir. Appreciate it. Day, you too. Look at this coffee cake muffin. That looks so interesting. Um, what is that? The coffee cake muffin? Mm -hmm. It's a big old sandwich right there. Mm -hmm. I just want to bite. This isn't as good as usual. I know. Your so I don't know. Did you try your coffee? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, probably, so big. Mm. So, first stop of the day is Home Goods. My mom's returning a rug. We have like, oh, I should show you guys our living room right now. I think what, how many rugs do you think we have in our living room right now? Ten. Yeah. Like my parents' living room. Because we got a new couch and we're really getting a bunch of new stuff. But we're going to go to Home Goods, hoping to find like a duvet. And then just maybe anything else. Like little decor things. Like salt and pepper shakers. Small things like that. And then we're going to go to Crate and Barrel after. Cute. I've always wanted like Opaly wine glasses. These are adorable. So, four pack of these. And then these are huge mugs. So I'm very excited. I love a good double walled. And then what are these? The tumblers. Note to self or note to people like Crate and Barrel and stuff carries these, but they're way cheaper here. And then these are $9.99 for four. Good afternoon, Home Goods shoppers. Have you been taking advantage of TJX rewards? You receive 5% back from time to shop at our family. <laughs> and wine glasses. Crate and Barrels are $12.95 a piece, and these are $24.99 for four. So that's pretty good. Do we need more like for water and stuff like these? 
No, I'm getting um, those ones from Pottery Barn. We're looking at these little sets for our back porch. Little rockers, black. We should get the blue. Ew, no. And I think this would be really cute for the front porch, but we're not gonna get both today because we're gonna have a white house with like black and tan accessories. I think this is a good bag. This is a <laughs> duvet. Queen set, just white. Nice, right? Okay. And then this guy is on clearance for 18 bucks and it's like a taupey color blanket that I wanna have as a throw on the bed. So, we're doing pretty good, guys. Um, I ordered a lamp from Joss and Main for the entryway, so I'm not really worried about looking. Curtains and stuff I'm gonna get at Amazon, or on Amazon, so I'm not really worried about that either right now. Change my mind to this one. I like this one. <laughs> you liked it too? I do. I think it's really soft. I like these. There's a picture of the dining room table that we're about to buy with these. Always came to Crate and Barrel, and I left with some really cute glasses that I'll show you guys when we get home. But we found out the plates that we want. We want these. They're the Wren line. So now we're leaving. <laughs> Got my glasses. These are. It is a gold, cold, not gold, cold, gloomy day. Okay, so we are back. Um, I didn't really vlog after Crate and Barrel. We went to, um, I picked up an order at Abercrombie, bought two candles for the new house, um, Bath and Body. They were like $10 each. And then I got a little diff like scent diffuser from Anthropology. That might have been it. So I'm actually, Trevor and I are getting ready to go to dinner. We're going to a new Italian restaurant near my cousin's house. I'm just dog sitting right now at her house. So um, there's Van chilling. Look at his face. Okay, anyway. So I'm going to go um, wash off what I have on my face right now. Maybe go curl my hair and do some makeup. Trevor's on a run. Um, he's been gone for a long time, so I hope that he didn't get lost. He doesn't take his phone with him, so I do hate that. Um, but I'm just going to go get ready. I've just been chilling, watching some TikToks, and just like we've been gone all day. So I just wanted like a little bit of chill time, but now I'm ready to get ready. So here we go. Okay, ignore all the clothes in my hand, but I just have on this sweater from Shein. It's just like distressed and has a bunch of colors on it. I ha got this literally maybe three years ago. I don't know. It's, it's kind of old. Um, 90s straight leg black jeans. I just picked them up from Abercrombie today. I did an online order. Um, I get the regular length and these are just a little darker than my ones with the slits. These don't have slits. And then I'm wearing my Dulce Vita um, I don't know what they're called, but I feel like everybody knows what these boots are, but they're just waterproof, which is good because it is 43 degrees and rainy out right now. You ready? Yeah. So that's what I'm wearing. I was going to wear this like little light blue top from Princess Polly because I feel like it was really, really cute, but I'm probably going to do it. Like, I didn't really like it with the boots, so I'm thinking like dressing it down with sneakers and jeans. And it's not thick, and so it's something that I can like for sure wear into the like warmer spring months, like March and stuff. So, what? Probably. So, all I have to do now is I'm gonna apply a little bit more deodorant, perfume, definitely need a lip. I think we're good to go. I might do a darker lip. I have this Maybelline pink for me. It's a little darker than my classic. What am I, what's my normal lip that I wear? Red matte tan, olive one. I don't wear red. Red Sephora. No, what that's Bengal stuff. Um, 
my Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know, whatever that one is. I always wear that one and I kind of want to do a little darker since I'm wearing it neutral. So that's it. I'm gonna, we're gonna head out to the car. You wanna give us a fit? fit? Yeah. Um, Lululemon, Abercrombie, and Will's Vegan Leather Shoes Store in London. <laughs> And the dogs are in their cages and we're gonna go out. Okay, Pillow Talk is the name. I don't know why I was met questioning that. I literally have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara and found like literally everything. But I put on my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner, lipstick, and then some of the pink for me Maybelline on top to make it a little darker. And I like it. It's very, it's, they're all just like lipsticks. I don't think any of them are matte. They're just like a sheen little finish but that's it dang it i didn't put on my earrings for tonight <laughs> i said that was a lot yum i got the cutie honey and then carrots and ciabatta gotta get my gnocchi <laughs> the salad was went quick and a Brussels sprout pizza. We'll see. <laughs> it is Sunday, which like, why does the weekend go so freaking quick? Um, we are gonna go grab a coffee this morning. Well, anyway, I just threw on a quick little like outfit. It's what I packed and it's not the sweatpants that I got. I don't know, I think I showed you guys. It was like the blue sweat set. The pants shrunk so much, so doesn't, I fit the best but we're about to go head at home which is a home store obviously and then we're gonna head to coffee emporium and get some coffee um, I'm only here one night but next week they're going on like a week-long vacation and I will be staying the entire week um, I'm excited because she got an espresso which you guys know I have had an espresso for like this March will be two years, um, but now I can have bring my pods and milk and have lattes here. I got this immunity <laughs> juice at, oh yeah, at, where did I get this? Kroger? Last night when we went to get cookie dough bites after dinner because I need, I didn't want an immunity shot, like that sounded like disgusting, but this has a lot of the only thing that it doesn't have that an immunity shot has, I feel like, is turmeric. And doesn't that make it spicy? What makes it spicy? The ginger. Oh, I ginger's in here, so. and it's fine. Right. Maybe there's just a lot less ginger, because I taste a ton of ginger. But I'm drinking this because I've had a cold now for how many days? A lot. About five. I got it from Trevor. Yes, she did it. Yes, I did. You even said I got it from you. So... I feel like this is, I think, the best I've outside. felt Turn waking up with it. Camera. So I think it's like on its way out. But we're gonna drink this and we're heading to at home and then coffee. So I'm having a juice before my coffee, which never happens. We're here. We're gonna take a look around, but literally nobody's here. Look at this parking lot. It's so empty. It says it's open, so. Got my juice, my purse, or my phone, my purse. And we're ready to go. Yep, at coffee. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's a big one. Yeah. And then I got took it off and took it off because I yummy woman. This is better than yesterday. Coffee. Yum. Yeah. Hi guys, it is the end of the night. I'm in my Christmas PJs and I'm like, I have my Laneige on and my teeth are brushed, my face is washed, whatever. But I wanted to pop in here and show you guys the final few things that I got this weekend for our house and then end the vlog. So we went to Bath and Body Works. They were having a candle sale, $12.95 was that $12.95 for candles and then we had 25% off so it was like 10 bucks for candles which is a pretty darn good deal um so I had been wanting 
this spring scent for a while and then I found another one that I really liked. So this one is Fiji White Sands. I think it smells so good and it's honestly pretty hard for me to find spring scents that I really like. I end up just sticking with um, Volcano by Capri blue um for the spring and summer but love this one vg white sands also just love the packaging it's very neutral and cute um literally if you go go to bath and body works and smell it, it smells so so good and then this one i'm obsessed with it so it's a little more like i don't really like any of the mahogany teak woods or like any manlier scents i just have never really liked them like the Abercrombie scents but this is deep sea blue don't love the blue color but we'll just you know put it in the hurricane like this but if you guys have ever been to I actually need to figure out what scent they use um and buy a candle but if you've ever been to the Hard Rock Hotel um in Orlando it's right by like Universal we used to stay there every single year we went to nationals in high school um, and literally this is this like literally smells very similar. It's not the exact but it smells so similar And I'm obsessed with it. It kind of smells like a men's cologne, but like Further away it smells like the scent So I'm, I really do want to do some research to find out the exact candle because it's like the perfect like house scent And then Trevor and I went to at home. I honestly didn't really enjoy the store but I love these coasters and I know we're going to need coasters because we have a white or not white a wood coffee table so I got this four pack of um like quartzy sparkly white coasters um because I want something neutral and cute some of them have a little bit of gray in them and I just thought they were really cute and good for that um all the stuff I'm storing in our spare bedroom because there's so much stuff you guys i also never mentioned but i bought an always pan and whatever like the big pot is i bought two of those um back in the day um i bought a rug from home goods months ago because i knew that i loved it so there's just like a ton of things that we're just storing and yeah so we are expect expection expection inspection is tomorrow I'm going to the house um, at 9.30, so I'm really, really hoping that everything goes well. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below for more. I'm going to do an empty house tour. I'm going to do um, literally like decorating videos, house tour when it's finalized, whatever, but I'm just so excited. I just can't wait for like vlogs and morning routines in the house. It's going to be amazing, so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, subscribe down below for more. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment any videos you do want to see from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.